Hello, welcome to Chargebee application. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate your QuickBooks online account with Chargebee to simplify your accounting process. Businesses spend close to four days in a month closing books, syncing records and reconciling payments. By integrating your QuickBooks online account with Chargebee, you can automate the synchronization of invoices, payments, credit notes, customers and so on from Chargebee to your QuickBooks online account. This leads to saving a lot of man hours and the efforts required to perform all these tasks. Here are the prerequisites that should be met before integrating the two applications. Enable accounting fields for integration. In your Chargebee site, click Settings. Configure Chargebee. Billing rules. Enable accounting fields for integrations. And select QuickBooks from the drop-down. Update accounting fields for your plans and add-ons. Click Product Catalog. Plans. Choose a plan to edit. You will notice a new section accounting information where you can enter the SKU, accounting name and class to map this plan with the corresponding product in QuickBooks. Alternatively, you can do it for all plans and add-ons on a CSV file, during the integration. Currency settings. Check the currency settings in Chargebee to verify if the base currency is the same in both the applications. And if you have enabled multiple currencies in Chargebee, ensure they are all configured in QuickBooks as well. Ensure that you have provided an organization address in Chargebee site. In your QuickBooks Online account, go to Settings, Account and Settings, Advanced, Automation, Automatically Apply Credits in QuickBooks and disable the Automatically Apply Credits option. QuickBooks will not apply credits automatically and will wait for them to be synced from Chargebee. Finally, go to Sales, Sales Form Content, and enable Custom Transaction Numbers option to ensure that the invoice number, credit note number are in sync with Chargebee. Let's now look at how you can integrate the two applications. Click Settings, Third Party Integrations, Accounting, QuickBooks. Click Connect and link your QuickBooks online account. If you don't have an account already, you can click sign up right here to quickly create your account and continue. The first step is to set up the accounting information for plans and add-ons in Chargebee and map them to the respective products in QuickBooks. As we saw in the prerequisites, you can do this individually for each plan and add-on individually, or simply download the CSV file here, update the details and upload the file back into Chargebee. When you are done, Chargebee will verify the information between both the applications and show a confirmation message. Click Proceed. Next, Chargebee will run a check to see if there are customer and invoice records in QuickBooks already. You will be notified if data is present in QuickBooks. Chargebee then checks currencies and checks if all the other prerequisites are configured properly in both the systems. When it's done, click Proceed. If you have enabled Stripe Payment Gateway, you can configure reconciliation preferences in Chargebee. You can choose to reconcile using Chargebee's recommended method or choose to handle reconciliation on your own. Click Proceed. When you choose to reconcile using Chargebee's recommended method, confirm if you have created a clearing account in QuickBooks for reconciliation. Now, let's configure the sync rules. Under Account Mapping, select corresponding bank accounts from QuickBooks using the drop-down menus for all your payments and refunds, and invoice line items. For the purpose of this video, let me choose Sales, or Say as configured for plans and add-ons and so on. Next, select if you want to sync offline payments from QuickBooks to Chargebee. When offline payments are read from the bank statement and reconciled against open invoices in QuickBooks, the payments will be synced back to Chargebee, marking the payment due invoices as paid. Invoices can be voided in Chargebee, but they cannot be voided in QuickBooks. You can choose to sync these voided invoices as credit notes in QuickBooks. If you are not enabling this option, remember to never update invoices in QuickBooks manually. You can optionally enable tracking categories, if you have set up classes in QuickBooks. You can enter the tracking categories for one-time charges, setup fee, discounts and round-off. Click Proceed. You can set up taxes to automate tax applications on your invoices. If you are using the U.S. edition of QuickBooks, Chargebee will create tax rates in QuickBooks automatically. 
If you are using a Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa or Singapore edition of QuickBooks, you can map the tax rates for various categories from QuickBooks right during the configuration. Or if you are using the UK edition of QuickBooks, you can select default tax rates created in QuickBooks UK version. If you are VAT MOS registered, Chargebee will create a new tax agency called MOS. Based on the country where the sale is made to, Chargebee creates country-specific tax rates, say for instance MOS Spain, MOS France and so on. When you are done with the tax configuration, click Proceed. Choose a sync start date using this drop-down. You can sync all the invoices from QuickBooks to Chargebee or choose a specific start date from when invoices will be synced. Click Proceed. Once the configuration is all set, you can click Run Initial Sync. This is more like a trial run, where Chargebee tests the integration and syncs the first 10 invoices. You can review these invoices in QuickBooks and when the sync functions well, you can sync all records. QuickBooks integration is now set up successfully. Anytime after the integration is set up, you can come back to this space from settings. You can click sync now to initiate an on-demand sync of invoices from Chargebee to QuickBooks. You can click this Enable Auto Sync to configure automatic sync every 24 hours. You can click Manage Mapping to edit the configuration details. For any changes that you make in QuickBooks, remember to update them here in Chargebee as well. You can avoid any possible sync errors and the sync will run smoothly. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can write to support at chargebee.com or check out the Need Help section on your Chargebee site.